Welcome to Module 4 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to customize options and views for worksheets and workbooks. Specifically, you will learn how to hide or unhide worksheets, columns and rows, how to customize the quick access toolbar, change workbook and window views, and how to modify document properties. You will also learn how to change magnification by using zoom tools and display formulas. Not every element of data in a workbook needs to be visible to every user. The easiest way to hide or unhide a worksheet is through the right-click menu. Hide the temperature worksheet by right-clicking its tab and selecting Hide. To unhide the temperature spreadsheet, right-click on any of the visible tabs and select Unhide. Select which sheet you would like to unhide, in this case, temperature, and click OK. The spreadsheet is now visible in its previous location. In the same way that you can hide and unhide spreadsheets, you can also hide and unhide rows and columns. Let's say you only want to see temperature data for January through June for each year. To hide the columns for July through December, click on column header H and drag to column header M. Then right-click on any of the selected column headers and choose Hide. To see the full data set again, click and drag over column header G to N. This highlights the columns on either side of the data you wish to unhide. Now right-click and choose Unhide. The data appears once again. Excel has a quick access toolbar that can be customized with your most used commands. To customize the quick access toolbar, click the File tab, then Options, then Quick Access Toolbar. The list on the left includes the commands that you can add to the toolbar. The list on the right shows the commands that are currently shown on the toolbar. In the list on the left, scroll down and click Format Painter and then click the Add button to add the Format Painter to the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add as many commands as you'd like. When you are done, click OK to apply your changes. To further modify Excel's appearance, you can change the workbook and window views. The View tab holds commands for controlling the appearance of the displayed workbook. Let's practice creating a split view. Start by clicking on cell H1 to make it active. On the View tab, click Split. Notice that the screen is split vertically into two different panes. In the horizontal scroll bar of the right pane, scroll to the right. Notice that you can still see cells A1 and B1 in the left pane. Click Split again. The screen is no longer split. Let's make the screen split into four panes. Click cell F14 and click Split. You can scroll through a pane by clicking on any cell in that pane and using the scroll bar. Notice how all data on the spreadsheet is visible in each pane. Return the screen to normal. All Office 2016 files contain document properties that describe or identify it. To view your document properties, click File. On the right, you will see a list of properties such as title, tags, categories, dates, and related people. Some properties, such as size and dates, cannot be changed. Let's give this workbook a title. Click Add a Title and type in Ground Temperature of Antarctica. Click anywhere outside the title to deselect or press Tab to move to the Tags section. In Tags, add Ice and Temperature, and in Categories, type Antarctica. You can also change the author of your workbook. For example, if you're working with a friend on a workbook, you may want to ensure you're listed as the author before turning it in. To delete the current author, right-click on the author's name and click Remove Person. Then you can type in your name and press Enter. 
You can add more than one author to a workbook. Microsoft Windows has a general approximation of how big your screen is. Most of the time, it tries to render the contents of documents, such as Excel worksheets, at relatively the same size as it would appear if you printed it onto a piece of paper. That approximate size is what Excel calls 100%. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a zoom control, which is automatically set at 100%. To increase the zoom of your worksheet, click the plus button or drag the bar to the right. To decrease the zoom, click the minus button or drag the bar to the left. You can also click on the percentage to bring up the zoom menu, which allows you to quickly choose a preset percentage such as 200 or 75% or set a custom percentage.